Hello, uh, hi everyone. I'm going to show you how to use the Flight Crew A320 from FS2 Crew. So, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to set up, how to use this, and how to mod it actually. Uh, this kind of uh, uh, add-ons okay so it's very very cool add-on uh, it's bring the immersions into the into the play now you could do your own voice of course uh, but sometimes you know just uh, my voice is not that good so I prefer to, to use uh, a recorded voice for example to just make it more uh, immersive in terms of the experience okay so let's go by creating a flight so I've created a small flight uh, not small sorry it's a long flight actually a two-hour flight from Chicago O'Hare International to Denver International okay uh, Kilo Oscar Romeo Delta to Kilo Delta Echo November so this one is um, just a flight so uh, I think let's go here and uh, we can do this 16R or even 16L 16L ILS 16L is there any ILS 6, uh, 16L I think this one right yep and then uh, this one 16L find it okay this one is it no I think it's uh, oh let me uh, this one is it okay yeah it looks good okay so it's a uh, almost two hour flight from here but we're going to do a different segment anyway so don't worry about it so I won't I don't want to spend the whole flight to explain uh, the FS2 group but we're gonna do it in segments uh, so you can find out how it's uh, I think let's go uh, 730 so we're gonna do a bit in the dark okay so 730 a.m. in the morning Okay, everything looks okay. This is uh, yeah, it's a very high altitude flying, so 38,000 feet. So I'm not gonna change the weight and the balance of the weight. Uh, anyway, so we'll see about that. Okay. So when you load up the simulator, you have to of course download the so uh, the application and install it it has to be installed and it's a paid add-on so it's not a free add-on uh, it's not cheap but yeah but to me it's very useful so once you install there's an icon like this one the blue one the nose of the aircraft in your desktop or in somewhere in your menus and you launch it and it will come up like this okay so I put it in a second monitors in most of the case because I don't want to but if you don't if you only have one I think you can hide it by uh, setting a trigger uh, I think a trigger button uh, you have to look into the manual uh, how to pop this up I think there's a new version 1.3 where you don't use uh, like a landing gear to pop this up <laughs> that, uh, that is for pushback sorry but this one I think is somewhere something like a tail a water rudder kind of uh, setting so yeah but anyway uh, you can setting up the things later on okay so I will explain this later on when we start the, during the startup okay so but let me go through several things before we start so yeah this one is the main menu so if you click this one it will voice out some uh, statement right from from the pilot and action from the your uh, first officers and kind of like a sequence uh, a range sequence you, you can go back again on the sequence or you move forward on the sequence right 
and uh, this one is also the same so it's like once you said something and oh sorry I missed it so you can go back again and then say it again but you cannot delete it previously right so yeah so if you record it it will show in there uh, this one this one will show the second command like if there is a this is the main command but this one is a secondary button or command to let's say set uh, Q&H or do something right under the main command this one for about page it's just showing you the software kind of copyright things like that and this one is the initiate pre-flight events routine so the first time you do the pre-flight you're gonna click this one and then the sequence or the the timer of the sequence is gonna gonna start so I'm gonna show you later this one is to reset the checklist start from the beginning of the checklist yeah so it's, it's like coming uh, returning on the checklist that you want to reset rather than using this it's going to reset the whole checklist this one is the PA panel so if you want to announce something as a captain uh, but I'm using another another tool for this one but I can use one this one also and this one is the bursars you can call the cabin crew for asking for drink uh, or food or something just to you know spice up the day so it's not boring the most important thing that this one is also hotkey so this one if you see this is the, the one that I mentioned uh, here you can assign the key to open main panel this panel you you're gonna try to uh, set your let's say a joystick button for this one main checklist button so I'm I'm using a trigger in my joystick uh, there's a Thrustmaster Airbus joystick in the front which is the main trigger to do this like clicking this one right so if it, it will click this one secondary button I also attach to some other button in my uh, Thrustmaster Airbus joystick so you can assign this uh, you you assign this in MS FS 2020, so it will it will be automatically you know uh, trigger this one uh, and this one. This is the main button checklist. And it's a secondary button, and to open this panel to pop it up. Uh, rather, once you minimize, if you want to pop it up again, you can click some button here, which is related to let's say to one of your joystick buttons. Okay. So that is how the assignment of the hotkeys and this one is the most important one because this one is a setting where you want to send your audio to something else. So I have several audio channels like the main speaker, the secondary digital output speaker, optical. This one is the virtual optics to be sent into Wi-Fi to my other computers who is recording this audio for example to the TV to other audio outputs and to the other video recorder so you can choose basically I'm putting the cable because I'm sending it via the V-band or the wireless band, uh, channels into other computers to make it noiseless okay so I can test this one audio test complete it will come up uh, in the other computers okay so you check if it's already connected this one is the accents uh, there's two US here US with male to male uh, first officers male captain male of uh, first officers and male male captain and female first officers okay so I'm using this one because just to make it a different because sometimes you kind of like differentiate this is my voice or captain voice or first officer voice <laughs> in some hectic situation this can cannot easily distinguish so by doing this one at least I know this is my first officer saying something Altimeter units, uh, as usual in US, you can use this one, uh, and Europe or other area you can heteropascal. Uh, take off flaps, usually config one plus f, or you want to do config two, it's up to you. But usually I do a config one plus f, and check this options. Uh, I usually do only errors checking, but not auto respond. Auto re respond mean uh, you just you know. They just challenge. Uh, they just answer it automatically. The captain and the first officers just said something automatically without me clicking the button. Right? Secure procedures is you know um, let's say 
if you want to execute the procedures on the final flight uh, you can do that or you can skip this one I uh, usually can just activate this because you know at the end of the flight I usually shut down the airplane for example if you don't want to it will not show this one uh, miscellaneous now door control I think I tick automatic because uh, it's there but jetway control usually I uh, untick this one because I want to control my own sometimes if it they control when you click this main button it will automatically connect the jetway which I already connected before using pushback express so it's kind of like conflicting so I untick this one because you'll see why I untick this one uh, load sheet yes there's a load sheet uh, 10k floor or below 18k uh, or uh, you know uh, a, uh, this one is the sorry let's say check to have the first officer run the 10,000 foot flow at 18,000 okay so I usually take this one for US because uh, this one is for US anyway show tool tips uh, no well I can do this uh, untick this uh, flap gear control yes uh, this is quite helpful if not then you have to do it your own if not uh, if they stick uh, the first officers will do it for you in this versions of M MS FS 2020 I think they already able to do that uh, generic ultimator no lock, uh, lock main panel no start sequence uh, engine 1 to, to engine 2 or 2 to 1 so if untick is actually 2 first and 1 if you want to swap let's say 1 first and 2 then you take this one okay uh, take off speed now take off speed you have to enter it manually once you calculate the v1 vr v2 let's say using your 8320 calculator for example from here once you get it you can enter it manually here because it will say it during the checklist or during the takeoff procedure so you have to manually enter this if not then they will uh, announce it you know differently from your actually set up VR1, VR, V2. You can also use the given default uh, V1, VR, V2 from MS FS2020 when they, let's say you use automatic calculation within the um, simulations, you also have to put it here because if not then it will not uh, reflect it. Uh, VFE limit by model, so yeah, because I'm using a 320 Liron, I think there's not another model, you can choose several one of them. Okay, so this setting I already explained to you. So let's put it into test. So uh, we will change this one later on. Okay, so I'm gonna put it here because uh, it's gonna show up uh, much more easily. Uh, so let's start. Okay. So do do do. No, I forgot to uh, let me put it somewhere else so I can just pick it up when I need it. So let's set the timing first. I think uh, because just talking right now, it's kind of like uh, moving ahead. So yeah, this is early morning. Uh, so okay, so usually I start. Uh, with uh, jetway connected so I'm using pushback express so I'm gonna explain pushback express also on the other video not this one so it's going to be like too long so yeah I'm connecting the jetway uh, okay so once it's entered, I usually play a jingle on the sound, for example. I'm gonna play a, kind of like a, a routine for me, uh, so just bear with me. So, just, uh, so this one is early morning. So. Okay, so here we're just playing a, a recorded sound.
Good morning, passengers. This is the pre-boarding announcement. We are now inviting those passengers with small children and any passengers requiring special assistance to begin boarding at this time. Please have your boarding pass and identification ready. Regular boarding will begin in approximately 10 minutes' time. Thank you. Okay, so once you, uh, let's say you're entering the cockpit, just to simulate entering the cockpit, right? So, it's going to be nice. So, just, so there will be some crew coming in, walking down this path, and greeted by the ground crews, you know, in this uh, gate. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Have a safe flight. Hi, Cap. The aircraft has been refueled. She so, is ready for you. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm using a shortcut, uh, like a recorded view. So when I click the uh, my push, uh, my button box so it, or a shortcut key, it will bring me to this view. So let's say entering the aircraft first time, and then let's take a seat. So that is not a recorded uh, view from me. Uh, I already recorded this view into a safe view, internal, uh, interior view, I think a cockpit view. So once you're ready, you actually have to press this one. So I, I, I don't know if I can press this one because you have to highlight this software to be able to advance. Right. So let's say this one. Let's start setting up. Okay. Okay. So if you click that one, it's already starting the, the countdown here. Uh, it's actually the countdown uh, uh, kind of like uh, preparing the aircraft, right? So the crew are preparing the aircraft, uh, pilot has to do a pre-flight checklist, kind of those things. So let me set aside first, uh, so you later on what happens. So, okay, so that is the countdown will counting down, so it's actually in minutes, so 30 minutes preparation so that's why you you want to have a eight o'clock flight you at least give the, like 7 30 to to set the uh, pre-flight once you do very quickly you can speed it up anyway to make it uh, not boring okay so usually you do a, a visual check uh, everything looks okay uh, okay everything okay uh, usually you check for uh, Parking brake, uh, thrust lever positions, engine start uh, flaps, and and this uh, uh, the spoiler positions, landing gear especially should be in down positions, and uh, the wiper should be in off position. So once that check, uh, I think we can start uh, switch on the battery and the external power. Okay. So once the external power is on, you can click on this. Usually you, you turn all the lights uh, because uh, in daylight it's going to be very bright outside. So your display will be kind of like overpowered by the sunlight or the daylight. So this is a morning flight and we're going to go uh, into the daylight or very bright so yeah I'm gonna turn out give the width of the float light and float light over here uh, you can also turn uh, the first officer side and then also this one don't forget okay the that's a beep of the FMGC or the computers ready for uh, setting up so also here there's another light here uh, for the overhead panels so that's it so I think it's ready for uh, setting up so let's do a quick setting up so usually uh, I, I test the uh, APU first and look in the ECAM uh, display here if there's a error or something usually no so let's uh, start the APU and then uh, while waiting the flap to be ready the the APU flap opens usually I usually set up the temperature first just not wasting any time uh, set the pack flow to low usually or normal you can s it's up to you and usually here flap open means that the APU can be started so usually I start the APU first because it's taking quite some time to speed up the process usually it's 
consume fuel so you better start it later on if you want to but yeah it's okay okay and then you usually may, uh, part of the check is uh, check the uh, the things like oxygen pressure uh, reserve oxygen pressure engine con uh, oil quantity and other things but some of the buttons create error or problems uh, creating a fault indicator here I don't know so I just don't want to press that one first okay uh, so once you check and then you flap is in the normal positions uh, retracted position spoiler retracted uh, uh, air brake speed brake is uh, retracted parking brake in on and you check the pressure by let's say putting the parking brake on and off so at least that's set the pressures and then you go into light off procedures light off procedures starting from the overhead panels from the left to up and down up and to the right okay so from here uh, cruise supplies let's put it into auto and then adheres uh, well we can do something here but usually don't not necessary so you first your adheres one adheres two adheres three this is the backup adheres this one is pilot side of first officer side and then we go to down here because it's going up here and then go down again and then uh, navigation light and logo and stroke okay so put it in auto and then starting from here seat belt no smoking emergency exit light and that's it uh, from this row okay you can also do this uh, anti ice but yeah rarely set it now usually when we fly or when there's uh, ice detected then I set up pack 2 usually I put it off because just putting one pack uh, initially should be enough uh, in the middle is 25 degree but it doesn't mean anything at this moment okay just for the sake of the procedures and then goes into the fuel pump sometimes you leave this off but yeah in my case I just turn it on all of them okay so six of them and then usually check the engine fire by looking at the e cam there is indication there uh, you go back again and then put the second one test here and then go back again check if there is an indication usually you have to check this uh, master warning here also but in this case not necessary so once you've done that you go through another check which is checking the anti-skid which is on positions and all this knob in the centers and then you check the levers in the idle position right so you you, you can check from the side actually so it's rest in the zero positions and then you go check the engine uh, mode uh, into in a normal position it should be in here not here not there if it's in one of the left and right position when you s power up it will be like you know uh, probably you don't expect that so yeah that's the first thing and then you check this uh, TCAS in standby right so usually automatically set to one two zero zero in US or seven thousand or seven zero zero in Europe if I'm mistaken okay so let's uh, put it there uh, let's so that is the preparation is done it's a quick one uh, for this uh, uh, simulation so usually I click from the pushback express to call the catering for example so you see the catering is coming in uh, right now and yeah so they will replenish all the food and beverage if needed so if not then you can skip this stage and let's go back inside so once you have done the preparations at this point uh, the if you see the the timing here is plus 23 it's already like seven minutes pass from what we done on the preparing the aircraft right on minutes to zero or minutes 20 uh, the crew will ask for boarding the passengers passengers okay so uh, we'll see later on okay so while we do that uh, the it will be notified by the crew don't worry about it so you can leave it uh, 
and continue with whatever you do let's say you do a setting up here uh, FMTC check the uh, let's say the engine uh, the aircraft type correct, correct engine type correct uh, navigation database updated things like that so in this page uh, we are set up already from Hi, the security and safety check are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Yes, you can start boarding. Okay. Okay. So there's a conversation automatic. I don't need to do anything, but it's uh, showing the crew asking for boarding. So usually after this, uh, I don't do anything but at this moment with the MS2 uh, responded, but I'm actually playing a sound, let's say like a boarding sound. Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. May I see? May I see your boarding pass? Boarding pass, please. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome. Welcome aboard. May I see your boarding pass? Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Boarding pass, please. Boarding pass, please. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome aboard. May I see your boarding pass? Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. May I see your boarding pass? Welcome aboard. Boarding pass, May I see your boarding pass? Welcome. Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. May I see your boarding pass? Boarding pass, please. Welcome. Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Let me May close the seat. May I see your boarding pass? Sir, boarding pass, please. Please put your bag under the seat, please. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome aboard. aboard. May I see your boarding pass? pass. Boarding pass, boarding pass please. Welcome, welcome aboard. May I see boarding your boarding pass, please? Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. May I see your boarding welcome pass? Welcome aboard. Boarding pass, please. May I see your boarding pass? Welcome. Boarding pass, please. Let me close the compartment. May I see your boarding, boarding, boarding pass? Sir, boarding pass, please. Welcome. Please put your bag under the seat, please. Excuse me. Can you give me a hand? Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Welcome, boarding pass please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. May I see May your I see your boarding pass? pass. Boarding, boarding pass, pass please. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome aboard. 
Let me help you. May I see you watch your hand hand. Hand. Boarding pass. Boarding pass. Help find the empty compartment. Welcome, Welcome aboard. Please go further down the aisle. Boarding pass. Please. Boarding What's your seat number? Welcome. Welcome aboard. Excuse me. May I see you boarding pass, please? Welcome. Boarding pass, please. Welcome aboard. Welcome. May I see your boarding Welcome pass? Welcome aboard. Boarding pass, please. May I see your boarding pass? Welcome. Please go further down the aisle. What's your seat number? Excuse me. Let me close the compartment. Sir, be careful. Please put your bag under the seat, please. Excuse me. Can you give me a hand, sir? Thank you. Let me help you. Watch your head, man. Let me help find the empty compartment. Please go further down the aisle. What's your seat number? Excuse me. Let me close the compartment. <laughs> Sir, be careful. Please put your bag under the seat, please. Excuse me. Can you give me a hand, sir? Thank you. Please go further down the aisle. What's your seat number? Excuse me. Let me close the compartment. Sir, be careful. Please put your bag under the seat, please. Excuse me. Can you give me a hand, sir? Thank you. Let me help find the empty compartment. Please go further down the aisle. What's your seat number? Excuse me.
Here's the load sheet for you. Thanks. No problem. Have a safe flight. Okay, so the crowd has given us a load sheet. So usually you reach it to get the number of the weight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board today. As you locate your assigned seats, please place your smaller items under the seat in front of you to provide more room for larger items in our overhead compartments. If you need assistance, contact the flight attendant. If you are unable to accommodate any item in the cabin, please bring it to the boarding door and we will check it for you. Also, review the safety instruction card in your seat pocket. If you are seated at an exit seat, also review the exit seating criteria. Okay, so by, by when you, actually when you are uh, starting the boarding, I usually have to start the FBU bit already because the uh, airport, of course, needs to be supplied to the cabin. Because it's not too hot, the crowd is okay. Yeah, in, in tropical area, the crowd really needs to be switched off. Now, you still have nine minutes to go. Uh, usually, here you're going to do before sun checking. So, I'm going to press my trigger in the joystick button, it will press this one actually. So, let's say, sample, I, I press this one first here in, by clicking this button, okay? But then I will. Put aside and clicking my the trigger button. Before star checklist. Cockpit prep. <laughs> so I have to advance. You have to click your trigger in your joystick again to advance. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. So here it waits. Uh, so if I want to advance, I have to push the button again on my joystick to advance. If not, then it's just stuck there. And you can see uh, the sequence later on uh, if there's changing the checklist. So within the checklist, there's no uh, indication where you are in the checklist. Unfortunately, might be there's a you know improvement later on from the rest of the room. So if I want to continue, I have to push the button. Removed. Again. Signs. You have to look to the sign if it's already set, and then press the trigger button again. On and auto. Adairs. Nav. Fuel quantity. Let's say we need a quantity here. Push the trigger button again. Set. Take off data. Data here, let's say push the trigger button again. Set. Barrel breath. Push the trigger button again. Two, nine, or six, eight, set. Two, nine, six, eight, set. Down to the line. Okay, so when they said down to the line, checklist of the aircraft, there's a line, right? Meaning that you have to do something else before continuing with the checklist. So <laughs> here is stop here and wait for another activity first, which is actually uh, um, uh, later on when we request uh, the IFR plan uh, from the ATC. Okay. So here the ATC uh, let's say clearance request for 
Clearance delivery NKS 1400 IFR to Denver ready to copy. NKS 1400 is cleared to Denver Airport as filed. Take off runway 28 right climb and maintain 8000 feet. Departure frequency is 125.00 clock 4242. NKS 1400 cleared to Denver Airport as filed. Take off runway 28 right climb and maintain 8000 feet. Departure on 125.00 squawk 4242. NKS 1400 read back correct. Contact ground on 121.675. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight tech. Confirm all ground checks complete, and we are clear to pressurize the hydraulics. All ground checks are complete, and you are clear to pressurize the hydraulics. Oh, sorry. I think I think the wrong one. Oh, sorry. I, I need to say something. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight tech. We'll be ready shortly. Okay, I will hold. How is the boarding process? Almost done. So that is not from a best to throw best from my jingle talent. I sound back, I don't sound back. You won't find it in a best to throw. Uh, but then, if you see here, uh, sector is still plus five, right? Or plus three. Three minutes from start, uh, the crew will ask to close the door. So let's advance. Hey guys, are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. So if you set the automatic jetway control, they will close it automatically. So in this case, it will work. But it will, they will close the door automatically. You can see it from here. I can't play the sound. Evan crew, arm doors and cross check. Doors armed and cross check. So it's not going to be closed because I manually set in my uh, FSU crew configurations not to automatically close the door. So the jetway will not be controlled. Right? Okay, so they will control the door but not the jetway. This jetway is not connected. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight tech. Confirm all ground checks complete, and we are clear to pressurize the hydraulics. All ground checks are complete, and you are clear to pressurize the hydraulics. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight tech. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger. Release the parking brakes, please. Parking brake released. Pushing back.
bloodline because you can continue. Let's click this one. Bloodline. Windows and doors. So you see uh, I'm triggering my joystick again. So window and doors has been closed here. Closed. Closed. Beacon. Beacon I have a switch on, so let's switch on the beacon first. On. Thrust levers. Thrust lever on idle. Push the trigger again. Idle. Parking brake. Parking brake is on. Off. Off. Before start, checklist complete. Okay, so when it's time you step onto the next one, you have to push the trigger. Okay. So now they're ready with another checklist, which is actually. You are clear behind and you can start your engines at your discretion. That one is not coming from here, but coming from pushback express. So I need, I use both of them. So it's in combination. So here you, you can see, uh, you can take my cursor, but I'm using my trust cursor. But then I'm going engine two. So Starting engine two. Pushback complete. Set parking brakes, please. That's not the best group. That is pushback express. Parking brake set. Roger. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. We will see you on the left side with the pin. Thanks, and you can disconnect and go to hand signal. Thanks. Have a good flight. See you later. Okay, then we go there and actually some group will probably show you the pins and everything the hand signal. So hand signal seat, just in case you just saw the signal signal. Okay, so you're done, and now ready for engine, uh, engine one. So again, you press the button again, because the uh, where is it? So here is engine one, so if you press this one again on your uh, joystick. Starting engine one. After star checklist. It will do first Anti -ice. Thing, uh, pull out the spoiler. Remember? Manually you can do it also. And put the flap into flap one. Uh, this is a config one plus uh, F, right? Configurations. One 
Black Matter spoilers. And then this is uh, this uh, arming the auto speed brake. Okay, so ATIs, they are asking for ATIs. Set. Ecam status. Check. Pitch trim. Pitch trim, I think we already set to 1 plus uh, F right before. 1.5 up. So set. 20% set. Rudder trim. Rudder trim is still 0. Zero. After start checklist complete. So then you can ask for IFR, uh, sorry, for taxi clearance. And after that, uh, it will show another step which is actually uh, flight control checks. We're going to do this after. Uh, Flight control check. So then you pull your joystick. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. And then push your rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Now the, the first officer will do their part. Uh, so I'm going to use the switch here and the cast to Terra one of the procedures and uh, then I'm going to set up the taxi usually taxi light here and here so we can do that oh by the way you can turn off the mass uh, APU because they generally stabilize right okay so that's it now you're ready to taxi uh, here you can see the green Marker, I think we're going to be facing the wrong. Where is it? Let me check. Yeah, we are facing the wrong direction. So I'm using a small ribbon here, taxi ribbon mod. So it's very nice. <laughs> you see that the green one uh, is going behind us over there. I think somewhere over there. So yeah, the blue one is definitely uh, very bad, right? If, I don't like it. So okay. So now we are ready to taxi. Uh, here you can see taxi action clear left side if you press this one let me show you uh, they're gonna say something like this clear left side clear right side so you see clear left side clear right side you sure you, sure you can imitate that and after that they're gonna show you taxi action brake so this one you're gonna press your toe brake or your, in the rudder you, you press both of them to check the brake pressure Usually you can see the brake pressure over here when you do that. Okay, so let's do that. But you have to like move on first uh, a bit by putting a bit on your truss uh, throttle and open up the parking brake, of course. So let's do that. So let's say uh, let's move on. So let's uh, put the parking brake to off. Okay, and then put the truss a bit. Uh, I'm using a A320 uh, NX mod, so it's very nice. So it's in uh, default uh, A320. It, it, it won't move if you don't put, let's say, 30% uh, trust or something. Like that. So here it's actually on idle. You can see my trust on idle, but it still moves. Right. So where's my ribbon over there? Okay. I faced the wrong way. Uh, I, I didn't. I forget to set up uh, the Pushback Express direction, I guess. We're gonna discuss Pushback Express at a later video, okay? So let's follow the ribbon to our uh, runway. Now here, uh, if you press the trigger, there will say parking brake check. Okay, so you imitate that one, uh, let's say by pushing the, your brake. Say... Brake check. Pressure zero. See, uh, just do something like that by braking. 
Okay, after this, it's finished. So it's already like uh, becoming a before takeoff checklist. Usually this one I will do after I set up my uh, uh, my uh, aircraft for takeoff. Okay, so by how to do that, I think we have to put this uh, into uh, auto speed brake to maximum. So it's gone, the blue one. So it has to, this blue one has to be gone, uh, has to be get rid of. So, uh, cabin, I think we need to push this one. Let's say push all. That's the ding dong. And then the last one is actually pressing the takeoff configuration here button here. Then there's a message uh, cabin crew, please take the seat for takeoff. So, yeah, so it's ready for takeoff now. So it's all blue, uh, so no blue, so it's all green. So there's a checklist for this one. So now I'm ready for the uh, before takeoff checklist. So if I bring up this uh, menu again, I'm going to press this one. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. So because we've already checked the flight control before, uh, so I'm going to press the trigger again. Check. Check. Flight instruments. Instrument also done. Check. Check. Briefing. Then the briefing is you. Confirmed. Flap setting. Flap setting. Uh, Config 1 plus F. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. Now, the pilot will mention the V1, VR, V2 by manually entering the number. So if you put the wrong number, he will say it's wrong one. Okay? So because I already said 154, it's going to say it's uh, the correct one. V1, 1, 5, 4, VR. One five four V two one five four V one one five four V R one five four V two one five four ATC Set ECAM memo sure. press the trigger again it's take off no blue to down to the line take off no blue means there's no blue here one that I just mentioned so yeah so now it's set uh, before takeoff checklist below the line so we're gonna do this after uh, takeoff clearance okay so we're gonna just go to our runway and then uh, later on we're gonna do the before uh, below the line before takeoff checklist okay so um, it's going to be very long but I think it's over there uh, we're gonna circle down uh, I don't know why I think we are Heading to the right uh, runway. Hmm. Okay, usually here, uh, yeah, I, you don't go too fast. And then, yeah, so you just want to be hurry in a hurry. I have another. Oh, soup, 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 soup. Uh, sorry, I didn't pay attention. Uh, my ribbons shows. Going to the right. <laughs> That's the problem with the small ribbon. You have to, you know, to be careful. Just I don't use the map. Uh, I, mean, I mean, to be realistic, you have to use the map. You know, I put the diagram or charts to show where you have to go. Yes, you know. I mean, sometimes you have to read the. It's very difficult to read this sign. You know, to find out where you go. In in. TV, you know, it's like in 2D. <laughs> so yeah, I'm <laughs> kind of like lazy person. I just want to be led by this green ribbon now. You can make even smaller than this, you know, very small, very thin, almost you cannot see it, you know. This one is a bit bigger, so it is a medium size. So there's a tiny one that is actually very small and you barely see it so that's even more difficult to see but it's much more realistic i guess so i think we're going somewhere over there is it yeah wow we are being you know being routed way far uh, to the runway i think i select the wrong runway to to, to, to depart <laughs> That's not 10 L, one, one zero left. I think uh, we said it was two eight right. It is two eight right, uh, or 
I don't know. Could be different. I think it, uh, editing is correct. The flight plan said to it right, but somehow the same just show different numbers. I have an experience. I'm heading to the right runway, but the name is wrong on that uh, here on this one. But on the flight plan and the M FMGC is correct, so there's no issues. Well, if, if you don't want to follow the ribbon, of course you can just cross the taxiway, whatever, whatever you want, you know. But then, yeah, you see, uh, if the here we are going to cross uh, the runway, usually check left. There's no traffic. Check right. There's no traffic, so you can cross. Go cross. Hey, is it correct? I don't know. Why should we going across? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I hope we are not doing the wrong. Okay, that's a ribbon back again. I think we're going to go turning left here from here. Okay, correct. I don't know why we don't get from the left side. For turning the big aircraft, usually do it below 10, but hey, I'm just trying to be in a hurry because I want to show you the <laughs> FS2 crew. So I'm going to show you until we're going to. Uh, do the what do you call it um, after takeoff checklist uh, below the line so that is uh, where you're gonna reach your transition altitude so by then you then do uh, uh, cruise, cruising your flight level right on your flight level try to reach your flight level uh, cruising flight level which is today uh, is 380 right or 30 8,000 feet. Okay, so now we are uh, closing to our end of the runway. Let's see what that. I don't know why we don't get from there. Probably there's no, there's no, uh, you know, taxiway over there. So slow down a bit. So you're gonna turn. Okay, so we are reaching the hold short position. So there's a red line here. I think we have to stop here. Okay. So we're going to hold short and parking brake on again. So put your parking brake on over here. And you prepare for takeoff. Now, for takeoff, usually what I prepare is uh, here the taxi put it all and then here landing gear on put this off uh, okay and packs off uh, usually you don't want to start with packs off you so your energy or turbine energy or engine energy will be given mostly to power or to or take off right okay so you're done with this uh, everything check 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 <laughs> okay, now once you're ready, you can ask for clearance first. Uh, let's call out the ATC and to the tower. Hey, I haven't switched off the music. Okay, uh, request for takeoff. Tower NKS 1400 at runway 28 right, ready for takeoff IFR to Denver. NKS 1400 cleared for takeoff runway 28 right. Cleared for takeoff runway to 8 right NKS 1400. Okay, so after this, you're gonna do uh, below the line before takeoff checklist. So if I click this one, below the line, cabin crew, be seated for takeoff. Take off okay. runway. So now you take off runway, so you break off and then put thrust lever a bit so to start the aircraft. And you press the trigger again. Confirmed. Confirmed. Cabin crew. Pre press the trigger again. Advised. Engine mode selector. Check. Oh, see. Not yet. 
No more. Packs. Packs off, but the user is set on. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. So once before takeoff checklist complete, then you're ready to. Uh, I don't want to go to the right, so just you know, ready with this here. Okay, so directly with the, to the runway. So if you want to use the full length of the runway, you can go to the right first and you know turn around. I guess. Okay, you can go direct from here, or you can stop first and then put the brake. Uh, and then push the engine forward to 50% first, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you from here. It's very hectic here. So here you're going to press several actions manually. So here to start the takeoff, you press the trigger on your joystick once. And then once you set your, uh, let's say, your thrust lever into man flex or manual flex to flex position or to toga, manual toga, meaning maximum power, you have to press again uh, for them to say the man flag SRS runway auto thrust blue. So it's usually the, the pilot will say that, uh, you know, during the takeoff, showing uh, here the, and, and here that everything is set properly, right? But this one just by pressing the trigger, okay? And once you airborne, you can also press the trigger to uh, retract your uh, landing gear so your first officer will do that for you you don't have to do it so that is good so you don't have to press something or some uh, or even pull down the button or whatever so the your first officer will do that and after after you and the, and during the takeoff when you run into the runway they will call out uh, let's say uh, 100 knots and then when you reach V1 they will call out the V1 and then rotate and then you know a positive uh, uh, positive climb so I'm gonna take this out from the screen so I'm gonna press the trigger several times manually to advance uh, during this takeoff procedure so it's going to be very hectic uh, so yeah I, ca I cannot just manually do it okay so I'm gonna press the trigger now ready ready take off Okay, so ready for takeoff. Now I usually put the throttle, uh, the the joystick a bit lower here. You see the, uh, the crosshair here, and then I put the thrust into 50% slowly. So look at the engine. So, uh, so now I release the brake, and then I put to man flex because I'm using flex stem. You see, there's a sign over there, and then I press the trigger. Manflex SRS runway auto thrust blue. Check thrust set. So that is just by by pressing the trigger. So they're gonna call out. 100 knots. Check. So there's a call out, and then the V1 and VR uh, call out later on when we reach the uh, V1 VR. V1 oops, oops, rotate. Oops! 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 Oh. oh, oh. Okay, rotate. Positive climb. So that's the call out. So usually I press the trigger again. Gear up. They will automatically, you see, gear setting up. up the gear up. Okay. So that is automatically. I don't know. Do contact. Chicago departure on 125 So you can do manual flying here or you press AP1. So they're going to call out AP1 also. Let's say pressing the AP1. AP1. Check. And then. Press the trigger again. Flap zero. Speed they, check. They're gonna set the flap zero automatically. Flap zero. So you don't have to. Uh, one two five decimal zero for NKS one four zero zero. Chicago departure NKS one four zero zero is at three thousand six hundred feet, climbing eight thousand. So. That is how you use the. Uh, one four zero zero Chicago uh, departure. Nice. Continue as yes. planned. Altimeter two nine decimal six eight. Okay, so. Uh, Chicago departure oh, no. NKS one four zero zero requesting vector to next waypoint. Sorry, let me clear this out first. NKS one four zero zero turn left, heading two seven five. Resume on navigation. 
turn left heading 275 okay. resume so after this NKS you're gonna do after climb checklist right so you click again your uh, button in your joystick after takeoff climb checklist landing gear landing gear and then you press the trigger okay. again flaps <laughs> first you check the flap see retracted packs Packs, oh yeah, forgot to pack. So you see it's very useful because if you forget then you, you can do that first and then on down to the line. Okay, so after this it's finished. So basically you've done your after climb checklist uh, and until you reach uh, 18,000 feet basically your uh, transition altitude then you put the standard here and then you do below the line. 1400 climb and maintain flight level 180. 180, so let's go 180. I'm turning the altitude from my button box, not using my mouse. <laughs> so it's very handy. So yeah, so it's now climbing. Let's speed up the climbs. Let's say NKS 1400, please acknowledge. Sorry. Climb and maintain flight level 180 NKS 1400. Okay, let's hide it. So, yeah, it's climbing uh, quite high, and I think we did uh, 2500 feet per minute so toward the transition altitude 18,000. One three three decimal three five NKS one four zero zero. Chicago Center NKS one four zero zero is climbing through nine thousand six hundred feet for flight level one eight zero. NKS one four zero zero Chicago Center continue to India Oscar whiskey is planned. Yeah, the weather is a bit cloudy here. Yeah, we can use the weather uh, radar actually. Uh, uh, anyway, it's, it's just too late. Uh, yeah, so we'll wait until 80,000 feet. So we're going to do the below the line after climb checklist. After 20,000 feet, you're going to have a clear sky. But anyway, today's flight, I'm using a uh, high altitude uh, IVAR or VR uh, flight plan. NKS 1400 contact Chicago Center on 127.075. Going to 127.075 NKS 1400. Chicago Center NKS-1400 is at 14,200 feet climbing flight level 180. NKS-1400 Chicago Center continue to India Oscar Whiskey as planned. Altimeter 29 decimal 68. Okay, so we haven't reached our uh, transition altitude, so it's like, oh, okay, so it's, it's very nice. Yeah, there's a bunch of cloud, I guess, opening, cloud opening. Uh, it's very dark. This one is exaggerated, I assume. <laughs> I don't think the plane will look like that. Okay, it's getting, we are on top of the cloud now, Chicago almost. Chicago Center Airbus, November 9 778 Yankee is at flight level 200, descending 9,000 feet. Airbus November 9 or 778 Yankee Chicago Center continue as planned. Airbus 78 Yankee, you are 53 miles west. Maintain present heading and altitude. Wow, 
Okay, we almost on top of the cloud, making about 20, I see about 20,000 feet the cloud is. Yeah. Okay, we almost reaching our standard, you know, altitude, so let's finish the... Maintain presence heading and altitude, expect ILS runway 28 right approach via VOTLR transmission. So we're gonna switch to into standard now, here. Oops, sorry. NKS-1400 climb and maintain flight level 300. Standard, okay. So now we can click one more, uh, trigger uh, after climbing below the line. So if you click this one. Below the line. Barrel breath. And then click again. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff checklist complete. That NKS-1400, uh, please acknowledge. That's finished the whole procedures of takeoff. Right, so now you are uh, in the uh, uh, cruising flight level. So, climb and maintain flight level 300 NKS 1400. So, we're still being requested to 30,000 because our flight level is still far away. So, okay, so but here you can do like switching off the seat belt if you want to. Oh, I forgot to turn off this one. You can, yeah, basically you can switch it. Okay, so now you are uh, trying to reach your uh, 300 flight level, and you can play uh, something like this in your sound pack. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign, so you are free to move about the cabin. However, please note that we do recommend you fasten your seatbelts at all times when you are seated in case of turbulence. Thank you. So that sound is not from FS2 crew, basically. It's from my own sound bank, uh, recorded sound bank, so yeah. Okay, so after this, uh, there's another uh, one more tick, uh, click that you can do, which is use hand over the control to your first officers, right? So you can do by clicking this one. So you're gonna say something. You have control. I have control. So this one saying that you are hands off, you are not flying the aircraft anymore, and your first officer is the one who's monitoring the flight basically. So you can do other things like, you know, setting up the uh, your uh, whatever. Usually you do that after reaching flight level, let's say, in this case is 38,000 uh, 38, feet, right, so not, not right now, you're still flying basically the aircraft. Let's say if you, oh, uh, sorry, I, 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 I need to do that again, so you basically, uh, you know, backtrack a bit and then move forward again until before you do that again, right? So, let's say you want to do hand of control upstairs where you reach uh, 38,000 feet. So, once you reach 38,000 contact Chicago Center on 123.75. Okay. 123.75 NKS1400. Okay. Chicago Center NKS-1400 is at flight level 230, climbing flight level 300. NKS-1400, Chicago Center, continue to India, Oscar Whiskey as planned. I go W or India Oscar Whiskey, our waypoint, so it's very cloudy actually. Yeah. Today is quite cloudy. In Chicago and to Denver. Um, yeah, we're still far away from our flight level, so we gotta wait. Well, while waiting, let's say you want a drink. So what you can do is calling the purser here, and there will be a screen coming out. Hi, it's Andy at L1. How can I help you? So there will be a flight crew saying something. Let's say you're gonna. You can do several things here: announcement or informations. Uh, dispatch to your flight crew back there, or request food, or inform the stop of descent, divert, whatever. Okay. So let's say request a drink. 
Hi, could you bring us some water, please? So, you, if you notice, uh, if you notice, the voice of the captain is Hi different. Guys, here are the drinks. Thank you. Okay. So the first request, the voice is different because I haven't changed the voice back for this one. Okay. I just too lazy to do that. So yeah, but you can change. Uh, my captain voice is a bit different because it's a bit bold. Uh, the default US uh, captain voice is not that you know that masculine, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so I replaced the whole. I think there's a 400. Going to one, two, seven, that needs to be replaced. So it's quite a demanding. Well, you 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 gonna replace half of it basically, or or three quarter of it. Okay. Let's check. They didn't say anything. Okay, so let's uh, wait until. Anyway, I think that's the main of it. I think we just. It's going to take some time to get to the flight level. So you can again say again this one because I already backtrack and move forward again. So if you press your trigger button or this uh, click. NTS 1400 contact Chicago Center on 118.75. NKS 1400. Chicago Center NKS-1400 is at flight level 280, climbing flight level 300. NKS-1400, Chicago Center, continue to India, Oscar Whiskey as planned. Okay, so... Because we're gonna fly quite high, uh, 38,000 feet, just reaching 30,000 feet, about to. So it's going to take some time to reach the flight level anyway. So if you click again the button here. You have control. I have control. So you see it's repeat itself again because we done it before, right? So if you go backtrack and then move forward before you do that, then they will do it again. So that's how you reset things or you're going to reset the here. It's going to reset the whole thing. So if you click this one, uh, you know, you go back to the last checklist that you're gonna do, or the, the last event that you're gonna do. If you click again here, you have control. I have control. So it's basically NTS repeating. Climb and maintain flight level 380. Okay, so we are being instructed to to our uh, flight level 3800. This is. Climb and maintain flight level 380 NKS-1400. Okay, so we're gonna still climbing to our flight level. It's gonna be very high. Wow, it's very high above the sky, above the clouds. So yeah, in here you can speed up your like uh, your cruise uh, speed into Mach uh, 0.7, I guess. Yeah. Now it's being set into 290 uh, knots, but you can do 300, 320, basically, or uh, 310, I guess. Yeah, you can do that if you want to speed up the. It's going to be a long flight from. Chicago to Denver, not not really that long, but for a short flight, like uh, it's two hour flight, so it's very nice, very nice view. Let's go outside. Wow, this is on Ultra 4K, so you can see the resolution of the cloud is very nice. Wow, it's almost covered by clouds. This is live weather, so yeah. I think today's morning in the U.S. Okay, so I think it's uh, temperature is minus uh, 48 degree. 133 decimal tree, generic, 59 or kilo. Okay, I think I'm going to stop the video here because uh, this is... Uh, 
the departure sections of the FS2 crew uh, checklist, right? The push button. So you finish from here, and from on uh, from now onward, it's basically starting the process again when you do the descent. When you reach your top of descent, then you prepare for descent, and then continue with the checklist or the FS2 crew uh, NT20 new push button again. So that's how I use it. So see you again in the next video.